before I close, I want to speak to you just briefly about a great power for public service that you possess. I'd like to suggest one especially tragic area where your newspapers can do a great deal of good. The problem of missing children. Well over a million American children disappear from their homes or neighborhoods every year, causing, as we can all understand, heartbreaking anguish. Parents cry out for help, many through letters to me. For example, I learned about Jonelle Matthews of Greeley, Colorado, who would have celebrated a happy 13th birthday with her family just last month. But five days before Christmas, Jonelle disappeared from her home. Well, thank all of you so much for being here. In just a moment, I'm going to push the button that lights the national Christmas tree. This is an old White House tradition. I'm happy to continue. I was in the White House a few moments ago looking out at all of you down there surrounding the tree, and I thought of how God gives us moments that lift us and that bring us together. Now, I know you're all waiting, and in the immortal words of the astronaut, Alan Shepard, I'm going to stop talking and light the candle. Light it to, in a nation at peace, a nation united. For the ties that bind still bind. So now I light the nation's Christmas tree. May its thousand lights illuminate our best resolves and cast a great glow on our affection for each other and our thanks for each other and our love. And you know what? I've talked myself into the Christmas spirit. I'm going to give a gift right now. I'm not going to light the tree. I'm going to let Nancy do it. Matthews was adopted in March 1972 by James and Gloria Matthews, a married couple with a daughter living in Greenlee, Colorado. Janelle was 12 years old when she disappeared in Greenlee, Colorado on December 20, 1984. On the evening of December 20, 1984, Janelle was performing a holiday concert at Intra West Bank of Denver as a member of Greenlee's Franklin Middle School Choir. At 8.15, Janelle arrived home in Greenlee, Colorado after getting a ride home from her friend Deanne Ross and Deanne's father. Shortly after 8.30 p.m., Janelle answered a phone call and took a message for her father. The phone call was the last time anyone was known to have spoken with Janelle. For several weeks after the disappearance, law enforcement placed Janelle's birth mother, Terry Vera Martinez, under surveillance without letting her know Janelle was even missing. In 1994, Janelle was declared legally dead. In 1997, Gloria Matthews received a letter from Janelle's birth mother, Ms. Vera, requesting permission to visit Janelle. It was at that time that Matthews notified Vera about what had happened and the families became good friends.
On September 13, 2019, Greenlee Police Department announced that Stephen Pankley, a former Greenlee resident who ran for governor in Idaho, was a person of interest in the abduction and death of Janelle. Pankey and his former wife lived about three miles from the Matthews home, and he had been the youth pastor at the church the Matthews family attended. As of two days ago, on November 5, 2021, there was still a hung jury against Mr. Pankey on the murder charges on Janelle Matthews. Hey people, Jesus here. And I just wanted to remind you, the only way into heaven is to become a subscriber to Blunt Trips. Imagine being stuck in eternity watching those other channels. <laughs> Subscribe, and Jesus will love you even more. But you have to believe. See you soon. Jesus.